Yeah, welcome to Austrian Stocks in English presented by Pipefinger, the English spoken weekly summary for the Austrian stock market, positioned every Sunday in the mostly German language podcast, audio CDT, indie podcasts, Wiener Börse Sport, Musik and mehr. My name is Christian, I'm the host of the podcast and I will be later on joined by the absolutely smart Alison. The following script is based on our 21st Austria Weekly. With a loss of 9.32%, ATX in week 11 went return to sender when it comes to year-to-date performance. All the early gains of the year are erased now. Bavak fell this week 17%, Erste Group 13% and OMV 11%. We saw a fat trading volume. On Wednesday and Thursday we had 400, 480 and on Friday, the settlement day of March, 620 million euros. News came from Andritz, Meyer Mellenhoff, Marino Maid, Palfinger, Vienna Insurance Group, Austrian Post, Verbund, SBO, AT&S, Wolfgang and FACT. And these news are spoken now by the absolutely smart Thank you Christian for calling me absolutely smart. And these were the news of week 11. Monday Andritz. International Technology Group Andritz has received an order from Hubei Zion New Materials Company, limited to supply a chemithermal mechanical pulping line with a capacity of 350 MT for its mill in Jingzhou City, Hubei Province, China. Andritz's scope of supply comprises the entire key equipment and supervision service for the mechanical installation, commissioning, startup, and training. With this contract Andritz is consolidating its strong market position for low-energy hardwood mechanical pulping technology focusing on production of high-quality fibers at lowest operating cost. Andritz, weekly performance, minus 3.73%. Mayor Melnhoff, at the end of the 29th annual general meeting on April 26, 2023, Rainer Zellner, 76, will resign from his position as chairman of the supervisory board of Meyer. Melnhoff Carton AG as well as from his supervisory board mandate due to age. The supervisory board will propose to this annual general meeting the election of Wolfgang Ader, 71, as successor. The supervisory board intends to elect Wolfgang Ader as chairman of the supervisory board at its first meeting after the 29th annual general meeting. Mayor Melnhoff, weekly performance, minus 6.05%. Tuesday Marinomed, Marinomed Biotech AG. Listed on the Vienna Stock Exchange, announced positive results from its clinical study on the decongestant effect of the sorbitol containing Kiragelo's nasal spray. The double blind, two way crossover, randomized and placebo controlled study was conducted at the Vienna Challenge Chamber, while Kiragelo's was shown to be an effective treatment of viral infections of the respiratory tract. Sorbitol exerts a decongestant effect. Therefore, the product is indicated for the supportive treatment of rhinitis of any kind with the symptom of a blocked nose. Using the product as a treatment against allergies may help to both relieve the allergy symptoms and to reduce the risk of a viral respiratory infection. The latter is particularly important because respiratory viral infections may cause a worsening of the underlying allergic disorder in these patients. The Kiragelos and Sorbitol nasal spray was launched in 2018 and is currently marketed in 11 countries as a common cold product. Based on the current clinical results, Marinomed plans to expand both the applications and target markets for the decongestant nasal spray. Marinomed Biotech, weekly performance, minus 5.13%. Mayor Melnhoff, Carting Board Group Mayor Melnhoff grew strongly in 2022. The group's consolidated sales reached 4,682 euros and 10 million, which is 52.5% or 1,612 euros and 40 cents million above the previous year's figure, 2021, 3,069 euros and 70 cents million. On the one hand, this rise resulted from the previous year's acquisitions in the MM board and paper division as well as the company purchases of MM packaging in the reporting year end. On the other hand from passing on costs through higher prices, at 510.3 million euros, an operating profit of 240.7 million euros above the previous year, 2021, 269.6 million euros, was achieved, Peter Oswald, MM CEO, comments, the MM group grew significantly in terms of profit and sales, 
both organically and through acquisitions, in a macroeconomically and geopolitically challenging environment in the financial year 2022. Profit for the year thus increased by 154.5 million euros to 345.2 million euros, 2021, 190.7 million euros, in line with the good profit development and long-term dividend policy, a dividend increase to 4 euros and 20 cents per share, 2021, 3 euros and 50 cents, for the financial year 2022 will be proposed to the 29th annual shareholders meeting on April 26. 2023, Mayor Melnhoff, weekly performance, minus 6.05%. Wednesday Paufinger, Paufinger Marine has officially been commissioned to deliver 25 of its boom cranes for offshore wind applications. The recipient is Japan's most recent large-scale offshore wind development project, the Kitakayu Saihibikina Offshore Wind Farm, with the deliveries beginning in Q1 2024. Paufinger further expands its market share in the Asia-Pacific market. The wind farm is scheduled to start commercial operation in 2025. Combined, the wind turbines will have a capacity of about 220 MW, thereby furthering Japan's efforts of becoming carbon neutral by 2050. Paufinger, weekly performance, minus 6.78%. VIG, with a premium volume of 12.6 billion euros, Vienna Insurance Group. VIG has exceeded the previous year's figure of 11 billion euros by 14.1%. Profit before taxes amounts to 562 million euros, which is 10% above the value achieved in 2021. Profit after taxes reaches 466 million euros, plus 24% compared with the previous year. The combined ratio of 94.9% is within the target range. The financial result increases by 26% to 797 million euros. The operating return on equity before taxes of 11.9% clearly improved compared to the previous year's figure of 10.9%. With a preliminary solvency ratio of 280%, VIG Group once again demonstrates its strong capital position. Based on these good results, the VIG Managing Board is proposing an increase of the dividend to €1.30 per share for the 2022 financial year, explains Elizabeth Stadler, CEO of Vienna Insurance Group. VIG, weekly performance, minus 7.75%. Austrian Post, Austrian Post reported stable revenues of €2,522 MN for 2022. EBITDA increased by 0.6% to 372.7 million euros and earnings before interest and taxes, EBIT, decreased by 8.0% to 188.4 million euros. Austrian Post's profit for the period amounted to 128.1 million euros compared to 158.4 million euros last year. The company will propose a dividend of 1 euro and 75 cents per 2021. 1. 9 euro share to the annual general meeting on April 20, 2023. Asteri Chish Post, weekly performance, minus 3.20%. Thursday Verbund, utility I company Verbund increased results for financial year 2022 clearly. EBITDA climbed by 100.2% to 3,160 euros and 70 cents M. The group results surged by 96.6% to 1,717 euros M compared with the same period of the previous year. A dividend of 3 euros and 60 cents per share for financial year 2022 will be proposed to the annual general meeting on April 25, 2023. FPR the current year. Verbund expects CBITDA of between around 3,500 euros M and 4,400 euros M and a group result of between around 1,900 euros M and 2,500 euros M in financial year 2023. Verbund, weekly performance, minus 7.22%. Add an S, given the current market environment. Adon S has adapted its pace of growth to the market conditions and postponed its medium-term goals by a year to the 2026-27 financial year. In order to mitigate the resulting effects, such as pressure on prices and inflation, Adon S has initiated comprehensive cost optimization programs, compared to the financial year 2022-23 cost savings totaling €440 million Euros are expected for the following two years. In addition, the investment programs will be analyzed depending to the respective expected demand and adapted to the respective market situation. 
According to the company, the investment volume for the 2023-24 and 2024-25 financial years will be reduced by a total of 450 million euros compared with the original plan, despite an increase in investment requirements in Lebanon. In 2021, Adan S had announced investments totaling 2.2 billion euros for the locations in Kulim and Lebanon. Currently the company is planning total investments of 1.8 billion euros in the medium term. At an S, weekly performance, minus 0.34%. Wolf Tank, Wolf Tank Group IA Global Technology Partner for Energy and Environmental Solutions, established its own subsidiary in California. The new Wolf Tank USA Inc. will supply the American market with the group's innovative hydrogen solutions and will initially focus on mobile hydrogen filling stations. At the same time as the company was founded, the group applied for a partnership in the Hydrogen Fuel Cell Partnership, which will promote rapid local networking. Peter Wirth, CEO of the Wolf Tank Group, had already presented at the renowned Hydrogen and Fuel Cell Seminal Conference in Long Beach in February and visited the first customers in the public transport sector as well as other hydrogen production sites. California is considered a green pioneer state and has adopted significant CO2 reductions, such as only zero-emission vehicles will be allowed in California ports from 2035 onwards. Wolf Tank Odessa, weekly performance, minus 8.01%. SBO, Scholler Blackman Oil Field Equipment AG, SBO, sales climbed by 71.2% to MER 501.2, compared to MER 292.8 in 2021. Bookings reached a record level of MER 646.0, an increase of 88.2%. 2021, MER 343.3. The order backlog arrived at MER 265.0, compared to MER 111.7 in 2021. The operating result was increased even further. Earnings before interest, taxes, depreciation, and amortization, EBITDA, more than doubled to MER 129.1. 2021, MER 60.0, EBIT more than tripled to MER 96.2, 2021, MER 28.2. Our growth engine was running at full speed last year. The experienced management team, motivated employees and the tailwind from the market contributed to the highly positive development of our business across all markets and in both segments. All of this helped us to generate an excellent result, says Gerald Groman, CEO of SBO, on the 2022 result. SBO, weekly performance, minus 8.89%. Friday FACC, aerospace supplier FACC AG further extends its offer regarding new wartime models. This includes a modern reinterpretation of job sharing, as well as the option to work part-time in production for employees returning from parental leave. The measures introduced also include an upgrade of job sharing. With this model, two people share the tasks and the responsibilities of one full-time position. FACC also focuses on supporting employees returning from parental leave and resuming their jobs. In this context, FACC is one of the few enterprises that offers a flexible part-time model not only to white-collar workers but also to people in production. Students can start an employment already during the master's program, working part-time and organizing their time freely. In times when long hours of studying are required or during exam periods, the working hours can be reduced and performed at a later date. FACC, weekly performance, minus 4.49%. And now bye-bye from Allison. And Christian, we wish you a great week. Hear you next Sunday. Austrian stars in black